When we work with the binomial distribution, we can also calculate expected values. So that is what would be the expected number of successes if we conducted this experiment 100 times, 500 times. How many times would we expect to see the success that we're interested in? So the mean of a probability distribution can also be referred to as the expected value. So if we talk about one, we're talking about the other. The mean of a binomial distribution can be calculated as n, the number of trials, times p, the probability of success. We can also calculate the standard deviation of a binomial distribution. And we can calculate that as the square root of n times p times 1 minus p. So that's our number of trials times the probability of success times the probability of a failure. And we take the square root of that entire statement. We can use these two results to find the range of likely values for a given binomial experiment. So in our last example, LeBron James has a free throw percentage of 74%. Assume the free throw shots are independent, which is probably a bit of an assumption here, since whether or not you make one free throw probably has some effect on whether you make or miss the second one. But we'll go ahead and make this assumption that shots are independent. So successes and failure on one shot doesn't affect the chance of success on another shot. If he shoots 600 free throws in an upcoming season, how many would you expect him to make? So in this case, our number of trials is 600. Our probability of success is 0 0.74. And our probability of failure is 1 minus that, so 0 0.26. So we could calculate the expected value for this distribution. which is going to be 600 times 0 0.74 or 444. So if in an upcoming season he had 600 free throw attempts, our expected value, our expected number of successes would be 444. But that's a little specific. He probably wouldn't make exactly 444, probably something a little bit less or a little bit more than that. So we can also calculate the standard deviation for this binomial trial as the square root of 600 times 0 0.74 times his probability of failure, which is the 0 0.26. And we get about 10.7443. So what we're interested in is this range of likely values. So we're going to take our expected value and add one standard deviation to it. So we'll take 444 plus 10.7 and 444 minus 10.7 to get 454.7 and 433.3. So essentially what we're saying is here, we would expect him to make 444 shots, give or take about 11. So he should make between 433 and 455 shots in that upcoming season.